。喂，咁多位同學，大家好啦，我係 Sir。今日咧，我哋又嚟温一温光合作用啦。咁啊，當我哋每一次去温光合作用呢一課咧，不其然咧，我哋都係去理解翻光合作用嘅兩大個階段。咁分別啦，就係 photochemical reaction 光化反應啦，同埋 Kelvin cycle 卡爾文循環，或者啦，我哋講嘅 light dependent 光反應啊，需要光嘅就係光化反應啦，同埋 light independent 就唔需要光嘅反應就係 Kelvin cycle 啦，卡爾文循環啦。或者咧，我哋有另一啲字眼咧，就係、是、呢個 carbon fixation 啦，一個碳嘅固定啦，其實都係講緊呢個意思嘅。咁當我哋去温呢一課嘅時候啦，除咗啦呢兩個過程嗰個先後次序，我哋必要做到嘅就係 photochemical reaction 啦，之後啦先能夠做到呢個 Kelvin cycle 嘅呢、这個次序問題啦。除此之外啦，我哋要去比較嘅咧，不外乎就係呢兩個過程當中所需要嘅 substrate 嘅受質係乜嘢啦。佢哋能夠產生嘅產物個 product 係乜嘢啦？佢哋喺邊度發生啦？其實當我哋去温呢一課嘅時候，問一問自己，喺 photochemical reaction 同埋 Kelvin cycle 當中，佢哋各自所要達成嘅目的係啲乜嘢嘢？究竟佢想做到啲乜嘢去預備下一個過程咧？首先發生咗光化反應。再去進行 Kelvin cycle 嘅，咁所以啦，第一步咧，一定係為咗第二步而做好準備嘅。咁所以呢條題目咧，其實都係做翻配對嘅啫。光合作用嘅不同階段啊，邊一個描述嘅組合係正確嘅咧？咁而家啦，我哋就嚟做一擊破咯。咁 A 佢就話啦，光化反應咧就能夠產生氧氣，咁呢個咧係正確嘅。咁的確，因為第一步我哋會做到嘅就係 photolysis of water， 就係用個光能。將個水去拆解咗佢，咁我條簡單嘅 equation 好快寫俾大家睇啦，就係、是、由個水啦，就變成 hydrogen atom 氫嘅原子啦，再變成呢個氧氣嘅。咁如果你係讀 chem 嘅同學仔啦，就好快咁 balance 個 equation 啦，兩個水變成四個 hydrogen atom， 跟住啦就產生咗一個 O2 氧氣啦。Kelvin cycle 嘅話產生水喎，咁啊梗係錯啦，因為 Kelvin cycle 所產生嘅咧應該係葡萄糖啊嘛，係咪？咁你睇翻上面呢幅圖咧，俾翻一個好簡單嘅引子，大家都知得到啦。原來咧就係整 Google 咗，咁所以啦 A 就 say goodbye 啦。跟住啦，去到 B 呢，佢就話 photochemical reaction 需要二氧化碳喎，咁實質唔係啦，啱啱先講完，佢需要水啊嘛，係咪？相反啦 ，Kelvin cycle 就真係需要二氧化碳啦。而今次嘅答案呢，就係、是、Kelvin cycle 需要 NADPH 喎，咁都係正確嘅。咁呢度啦，就提返大家啦，原來啦 ，Kelvin cycle 需要二氧化碳啦，亦都需要 NADPH 啦。實質要做嘅就係咩啊？將個 CO2 你冚個 H 落去，係咪就有本事成為我哋嘅 carbohydrates 啊？因為 carbohydrate 就係 carbon、hydrogen、oxygen， 係咪本身啊得個 CO2， 佢要變成碳水化合物嘅話，欠咗乜嘢啊？欠咗個氫咯 ，hydrogen 咯。咁所以啦，個 hydrogen 就係 NADPH 帶俾佢啦。咁但係啦，一啱一錯喎，咁所以 B 都係錯喎。就跟住去到 option C，photochemical reaction 就發曬基質。Kelvin cycle 就發生喺 Grand 啊，記錄其實就啱啱倒翻轉先真。Photochemical reaction 咧就唔喺 Stroma， 實質啦就喺個 Grand 啊嗰度發生。咁但係由於今次呢個係一棟啫嘛，所以呢個 Grand 林啦單數啦，咁 Kelvin cycle 咧就反翻轉啦，實質咧就喺個 Stroma 嗰度去發生啦。咁試又錯喎，咁所以答案啦就係 D 啦。光化反應光係能量嘅來源，正確。而 Kelvin cycle 咧 ATP 係個能量嘅來源。都係正確，咁所以啦，好快呼應翻一次啦。由於光合作用係有一個先後次序嘅，第一步嘅光化反應 （photochemical reaction） 係為咗第二步嘅 Kelvin cycle 而做好準備。準備啲乜嘢俾佢啊？就係、是、準備 ATP 同埋 NADPH 俾佢啦，因為你要預備一個 H 砌落個 CO2 個雪，亦都需要能量，因為佢係一個 anabolism 一個合成嘅代謝。咁所以啦，亦都一定要有個能量嘅參與啦。咁所以透過呢條題目呢，就幫我哋去溫返啦。究竟光合作用嘅不同反應，佢哋各自喺邊度發生啦？佢有啲咩嘅需求啊？就是這樣啦。咁頭先都提咗大家，對於 photosynthesis 嘅不同階段，佢哋嘅次序係有重要性嘅。咁啊，例如啦 ，photochemical reaction 係為咗預備 Kelvin cycle 而做。咁呢個係佢呢個過程嘅目的啦，係咪？咁呢個過程係咪即係一條直線去咗就唔使返轉頭呢？又唔係喎。咁我哋又問下自己啦。咁其實 Kelvin cycle 嘅目的
，除咗去製造呢個 glucose carbohydrate 之外啦，其實佢有冇另一啲嘅目的呢？其實都有嘅喎，佢亦都係為咗 photochemical reaction 能夠繼續發生而做好準備，所以呢兩個過程係有得互動嘅，因為 c a l v i n cycle 能夠幫我哋去再做翻啲 NADP 出嚟，而呢個 h y d r o g e n carrier 呢。就可以翻翻去個 Granna 嗰樹，再去接受下一個嘅 Hydrogen， 然後又翻翻嚟變翻 NADPH， 再入翻去 c a l v i n Cycle， 然後又出翻嚟。所以點解頭先提大家咧？喺個 Photochemical Reaction 同埋 c a l v i n Cycle 當中，要問下，喂，佢做咩㗎？嚇咁又有啲咩產生咗㗎？咁又產物呢一樣嘢咧，咁當然係有一個點啊？主要嘅產物 Main Product。亦都有敗 product 副產物，係咪啊？咁啊，呢個副產物今次啦，就係、是、例如嗰個 NADP 咯、ATP 咯，咁呢啲係用咗能量，咪即係出翻嚟啊！呢啲整出嚟嘅產物係咪就可以翻翻去 photochemical reaction 成為佢嘅受質啊？咁我哋揦住呢兩個過程，然後拎住呢一堆嘅概念咧，就可以兩邊前後走。They don't like us on Guan Hai Lam. Hello students, so in this video we are going to do the revision about the photosynthesis. When we are doing revision about the photosynthesis topic, so we need to understand the stages of the photosynthesis, including the first step, photochemical reaction, and the second step, Kelvin cycle. So in this question is asking us, so for the combination about the stages, which one is correct? So when we are doing revision of photosynthesis, usually we need to understand the order of these two reaction. Photochemical reaction it comes first, and the Kelvin cycle it follows. So in this idea, we need to know that actually for the first step, photochemical reaction is a stage to prepare for the Kelvin cycle. Other than the order of these two reaction, we also need to compare the photochemical reactions and the Kelvin cycle. For example, the substrate, any substrate we need, required for the reaction, any product they are formed after that particular reaction, and where does the reaction takes place? So in this question, is checking us the concept about the location and the requirement of the photochemical reactions and the Kelvin cycle. So let's take a look at the answer one by one. First answer, photochemical reaction produce oxygen is true because in this step we have the water and then we use the light energy to break down the water, which is the photolysis of water. So what is the equation? So we have the water, and then it breaks down into hydrogen atom with oxygen gas O two. So if you are chemistry student, you can balance the equation easily. We have two water molecules, and then we can produce four hydrogen and with two oxygen combined together to become oxygen gas. And for the Kelvin cycle, it produces water. Is wrong. Because for the Kelvin cycle, the main product should be the glucose, the carbohydrates, right? Therefore, option A say goodbye. And then option B, photochemical reactions required carbon dioxide is wrong. Because what we need should be H two O. But what about the Kelvin cycle? It requires NADH is correct. We need the reducing power to do what? We need the reducing power and carbon dioxide as well. So carbon dioxide should be here with the reducing power because our ultimate goal is the glucose, which is a carbohydrate. So for the carbon dioxide, it contains carbon and oxygen element. So compare with the carbohydrate. So what we need, we need hydrogen. So for the NADPH, it carries the hydrogen to the carbon dioxide to form the carbohydrate in the Kelvin cycle. However, one correct, one wrong. Therefore, option B say goodbye. And then option C, photochemical reaction occurs in stroma is wrong because it should takes place in the phalangoid or phalangoid membrane. So it should takes place in the guanum. Okay, because there is just one stack of the phalangoid, so I just call them guanum. But for the guanna, in this case, which is the plural form. So Kelvin cycle occurs in granna is also wrong because it should takes place in stroma. So that's why option C, 
the answer is just swap. So it's also wrong. And then option D is the final answer. Photochemical reaction, we need light as the energy source. Correct. We need light energy for the photolysis of water and also produce the ATP. It's a kind of chemical energy. We need to do the conversion first. And then for the Kelvin cycle, ATP is the energy source. Is correct. Firstly, photochemical reactions takes place and it's a way to prepare for the Kelvin cycle. So what does it prepare? It prepares the NADPH and the ATP. NADPH, as what I say that, is a kind of reducing power to fix the carbon dioxide. So that's why Kelvin cycle, we also say that carbon fixation, addition of the hydrogen to the carbon dioxide. At the same time, we also need the ATP because for the addition of the hydrogen is a way of anabolic activity, anabolism. It means building up something. And if we need to build up something, energy is also required. So that's the way how can we do revision about the photosynthesis. As I mentioned, when we are doing the revision of the photosynthesis, surely we need to understand the order of the photochemical reaction and the Kelvin cycle because we need to understand the stages of the photosynthesis. Especially, we need to understand the purpose of each step. So as what I say, photochemical reaction is a way to prepare for the Kelvin cycle. Prepare for the ATP and prepare for the NADPH. So what about the Kelvin cycle? Apart from producing glucose, the carbohydrate, is there any purpose for Kelvin cycle? Actually, it's also a way to prepare for the photochemical reaction. You see the interaction between these two reactions, right? So the idea is that apart from making the glucose, the Kelvin cycle is also a way to regenerate what? Regeneration of the NADP, the hydrogen carrier. We can regenerate it and then the NADP, it can go back to the granular for the photochemical reaction to collect the hydrogen and then produce the NADPH again. And then the NADPH carry the reducing power to the Kelvin cycle to reduce the carbon dioxide. The products formed in particular stages, actually they can become the substrate of the following reactions. So it's just like for the photochemical reaction, we produce the NADPH, ATP, and then we combine it with the carbon dioxide, and then we can form the carbohydrates. And in this reaction, we regenerate the NADP, we regenerate the ATP and the phosphate, and then they go back to the photochemical reaction to become the substrate of this reaction. So you can see the interaction. It's an easier way for us to link all the concepts together.